some of the best ingredients and some of the best doses you could put in here. And then you have this supplement and I don't really 100% get where they're going with it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Genius Sleep Aid. And this review is gonna be a little bit more of a topic, a little bit more of me having not tried this supplement. I ordered, I think, Genius Consciousness and somebody accidentally sent me this Genius Sleep. I don't use anything with melatonin and this product contains melatonin. So although I really like Genius products, I did try it once just to you know try it out, but I find that this supplement is actually very interesting. It doesn't really use a lot of the typical sleep blend ingredients, usually Genius brand. Some of the best ingredients and some of the best doses you could put in here. And then you have this supplement and I don't really 100% get where they're going with it. It only contains five ingredients, L-glycine, L-theanine, rudocarpine, inositol, and melatonin. Glycine, in my opinion, is supposed to, I think, increase water to the brain. That's kind of the main effect. I think it has um, neuroprotecting effects because you put more water in the brain, things like that. Haven't really ever seen it in a sleep aid ever. And then you have L-theanine, which I think L-theanine is actually pretty nice. I would use L-theanine for sleep. L-theanine, in my opinion, is kind of good for getting the zinned out feeling. It can make you a little sleepy. It kind of goes a little bit good with caffeine and it kind of is this little balancer. Not the first thing that I would put in a sleep blend though. They put it in there, it is gonna help 100 milligrams for the serving and usually L-theanine I would take at least 200 milligrams so it's kind of cut in half. And then you have this rudia carpine, I'm sorry I'm pronouncing that wrong, but probably the most exotic ingredient in here and that's basically something that I believe gets rid of caffeine faster in your body. So if you had caffeine later in the day, you take this rudia carpine, uh, however you say it and it's supposed to get the caffeine out of your body a little faster you basically go to sleep faster so that's basically only people who use caffeine and only people who are using caffeine late in the day which is exotic and it's very nice i appreciate that but i just felt like something that was more relaxing or something that is more calming would have been a better addition to this because it's going to work for everybody not just somebody who takes caffeine although most people do take caffeine in ositol from my understanding i heard that it is good for sleep but in my opinion, it's supposed to be some sort of like a B vitamin blend. And I think B vitamins are pretty good for sleep, but they're not the first thing that I'd put in there. I'd put a lot of other things in there before I put just a little bit of the B vitamins. So I'll do a little bit of extra research. I'm sure there's a reason they put it in there. And I, I know I've heard that inositol is good for sleep. To me, it's just not the first thing I'd put in there. If I was only gonna put five ingredients, I probably wouldn't put it in there, but I do gotta do some research to see how good it is. Melatonin, they only put 0.5 milligrams of melatonin in here which is a low dose. I mean, some supplements, they'll put one, they'll put two to three. Rich Piana supplement, he put eight, which is just crazy. And it's so sad because I loved Rich Piana supplement. But as you guys understood from this review, I don't really like taking melatonin. So melatonin is a hormone. It does help with sleep, but in my opinion, I would want it to be naturally secreted in my body. I don't really want to take just something extra. To give you an analogy, steroids is a hormone, just like melatonin is a hormone, but you wouldn't necessarily take steroids to get stronger because of all the negative side effects with it you'd want to do something natural that would help you you know you don't want to just take the straight hormone for your body that's not the best thing although it is low dose for me I just don't like it and the only time melatonin is good to take for sleep is if you're gonna start a new sleep cycle so if you went on a plane trip somewhere or you're starting a new job and you have to go to sleep at a time you're not used to going to sleep this is actually good but most of the time people go to sleep around the same time and to be fair guys I I only took this supplement once just because I've had such bad experiences with melatonin. When I did take this, I did take it or I was trying to go to sleep at a different time. It actually felt okay. I've taken all these things by themselves. I did order that rudocarpine a long time ago in the powdered form. I haven't done enough testing on it just because I normally don't drink caffeine that late in the day and it just feels weird to take some caffeine to test if the rudocarpine is going to work. I don't know why, just for me, but I do like that in here, although it only affects people with caffeine. I just kind of wanted to give my opinion on this as somebody who takes sleep supplements every day. If I were to give you my favorite sleep supplements, I really like passion flower. I like valerian root. I like L-theanine is solid. I prefer L-tryptophan, chamomile extract, lemon balm extract. There's so many different ones. And there's even ones that I didn't try. If you were to take a high doses of any of those ones that I just mentioned, they would all work and I'd prefer all of those in a sleep blend. That's just me personally. But Genius is a really, really, really good brand. I take Genius Consciousness almost every single day. Genius Pre, I think, is one of the best pre-workouts that 
is per pump only. I really, really, really like Genius Mushrooms. It's a very well-priced and balanced mushroom blend. I like a lot of their stuff, just this one. For me, I don't really see the benefit as much. I don't think this would be beneficial to a lot of people, but maybe I'm wrong. Do you like this down below? Do you use any of these supplements for sleep? Maybe it would work for you. I don't know. I just prefer no melatonin. So we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' hope. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.